Hey there, how you doing? It's me, Oscar Jordan. You know, people come up to me on the street all the time, and they will say, Oscar, you're a handsome black man, but how do you play so funky? All those funky chords you use, how do you do it? Well, I'll tell you how I do it. I use inversions. Inversions are chords, just like you use all the time, except we just switch the order of the notes in the chord. We just swap them around and then we get inversions. They're inverted. And I'm going to show you some dominant seventh inversions. I'm going to show you what is called the first inversion and second inversion. And I'm going to show you how you can use them to sound cool and not be redundant because sometimes redundancy happens and you don't want to do it. Let me show you. Um, Let's say you're playing, say, uh, one four five in A, which is kind of like like a blues pattern, you know. And uh, maybe you're on stage with another guitar player, and he's doing your garden variety seventh chord A seven like this. You've seen that, right? Well, he's doing that, you know. He might be doing a, you know. Whatever he's gonna do, he's doing something based on that. Well, you don't have to do that. You can do something else because you can and you have a brain and you want to be funky like me. So what you want to do is use an inversion. Now, these things have been around forever and uh, basically just go, go to your D string on the 7th fret. That's your A. That's an A note. And then uh, take your uh, ring finger and put it on the G string ninth fret, so you have this, then take the middle finger, put that on the eighth fret B string, and then the last finger, which is your pinky, will go on the ninth fret of the high E string. So what you get is this. That's a first inversion, A7 first inversion. Now, you probably recognize this because you've, you know, been around the world, you've seen lots of things and you've heard things like... <laughs> Hendrix, right? Well, Hendrix uses that all the time. This uh, kind of uh, thing, you take off the bass note and just use this. You've heard that in like kind of R&B stacks, they use that a lot. beginning of time they've been using this stuff and you can use it too. So if you wanted to just play say something funky, the bass is handling the low A, the guitar player is playing this, or the keyboard might be playing a straight seventh chord. Well you don't have to do that. You can do something like this. You can add a bass. So you got that. You got it? I know you do. It's really cool and uh, hip. You want to have that kind of thing. You don't want to, you want to have choices when you're playing uh, against chords. You, you want to know about as many different ways to play a chord as possible and inversions is a good way to go. Now let's say uh, they go to the four chord, you know, maybe they play, um, that will be a D7. Well, instead of playing all those notes, and then you get the low, you got the bass player doing that. The guitar player, maybe he's playing this. So you want to do something different. So basically, we want to just kind of pop out of the mix and not double up so much. That's going to give this some sonic variety to the band. So what I would do is uh, take that basic shape of that uh, D7 chord, which is where uh, we'll take our middle, our ring finger, play the D here. That's the uh, fifth fret on the A string. We'll take the uh, the D string and put it at on the fourth fret. And the uh, 
index finger, we'll put that on the third fret of the B string, and then the pinky will go on the fifth fret of the G string. You've seen this. That's a seventh chord. But we're not going to play that. We're going to play something different. What we're going to do is we're going to just play the same thing, except we're going to leave off, we're going to get rid of the bass note, and we're going to add the high B here. So first finger will go on the the, the uh, third fret of the B string, and the middle finger will go on the fourth fret of the D string here, and then the ring finger will go on the fifth fret of the G string, and then lastly we have the pinky at the, uh, in the on the uh, fifth fret of the high E. So what we get is. Okay. So everybody else is playing the big chord with the back notes and the low bottom and the, the funkiness. We're going to be up top because we got those higher notes and we can slide into it. So when the, when the bass player and the, the guitar player are doing their thing, you go. Now when they go to the five chord, you know, it's the same grip, you just slide. You can take the same grip and then slide it. So when they go to the five chord, all you do is you go. You got the same grip. Now we're playing a, uh, a E7. So this is our E7 uh, second inversion here. So if we're playing that all together, we got Can you dig it? I hope you can. So use those inversions. Those, they slide any way you want to go. For those uh, second inversions, I, I like to think of that uh, the B string note, which is uh, for a you know for a D7 chord. That kind of gives me my placement as far as a uh, root. I'm thinking of that as a high root. It's not a low note, but I think of it as a root anyway. And then for the E7 of course, that's an E. There we go. So we got. Ooh. Hey, hope it helps. So uh, dig those chords, get funky, slide it around. Uh, come and visit my talk show. It's a radio talk show for and about guitar players at latalkradio.com or. Go to my Facebook page at Facebook backslash Oscars Guitar Shop and then click like and then you'll know about all the new guests that are coming on my show. Got some great high tier badass motherfucking guests that are going to be on the show. Or go to OscarsGuitarShop.com. Stay funky. I love you. Take care.